हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल डॉक्टर रुचिका गर्ग एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन गवर्नमेंट मेडिकल कॉलेज एंड अ गायनाकोलॉजिस्ट एंड टुडे वील बी डिस्कसिंग वॉट टू डू वैन यूर गर्ल इज एक्सपेक्टिंग हर पीरियड्स शी इज़ अबाउट टू स्टार्ट हर मैंस्ट्रुएशन सो इट इज़ द ड्यूटी ऑफ अ मदर एंड हर केयर टेकर टू टेल हर एवरी थिंग बी प्रपेयर मेक हर प्रपेयर फॉर द कमिंग मैंस्ट्रुएशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वेन यू सी दैट योर डॉटर इज़ हैविंग ग्रोथ ग्रोथ स्पर्ट दैट इज हर हाइट इंक्रीज एंड हर ब्रेस्ट डेवलपमेंट स्टार्ट देन यू शुड बी रेडी दैट हर मैंस्ट्रुएशन विल स्टार्ट द एवरेज एज ऑफ मिनार्की नाउ एड एज इज बिटवीन टेन टू ट्वेल्व ईयर्स ऑफ एज प्रीवियसली इट यूज टू बी थर्टीन टू फोर्टीन ईयर्स ऑफ एज बट नाउ विद गुड न्यूट्रिशन गुड हाइट एंड अदर थिंग्स एंड गुड वेट द गर्ल्स आर गेटिंग हर मैंस्ट्रुएशन देयर मैंस्ट्रुएशन एट अ अर्लियर एज so uh, you should tell them that this is nothing abnormal uh, their grandmother mother every everyone used to get it and it is about that they are getting mature now they are good getting older uh, so this will happen and it, it's not a taboo it's normal and you can do your daily duties you can do you can go to school uh, when when her breast development starts tell her about these things so that if she is in the school and um, uh she is not hesitant and she can talk to her teacher uh and sh- she can make her available the sanitary napkins and other things so now the good news that she has started her menses it's a sign of relief also because that means her uh, uterine uterus is okay her cervix is okay her uh, there is no obstruction that is there is no imperforate hymen or also uh, so there are people who are going uh, to the doctors worried that their daughter has not started her menarche and there is uh, so it's a good news for her also that as a female she is complete now you have to deal her in a sympathetic way emotional way because they are small girls uh, they are not ready to deal with the all those messiness and uh, nowadays yeah, older girls they are about uh, they can use menstrual cups but these girls have to use sanitary pads so uh, they may develop dysmenorrhea dysmenorrhea that is pain during menstruation that is very common and first day pain is very common so keep some handy analgesics antispasmodics with you or your doctor can prescribe it or uh, mefenamic acid um, pl- uh, plus drotaverin combination also can be given and uh, for one to two times a day according to the severity of symptoms that is very common but some f- few girls get very severe symptoms that like nausea vomiting headache pain abdomen loss of appetite during menstruation not willing to work and keeping lie down so they need a more sympathetic approach so you have to make her prepared for the pain you have to uh, but you can uh, advise her that she can continue with her daily activities if she is a sports person she wants to play uh, outside uh, she can do it and uh, any hot uh, hot compresses also that you can give to her and tell her about the amount of blood flow that it is about 3 to 5 days it's normal and if it is clot blood clots come then she should inform her if she is having very less bleeding or she is having severe bleeding if she has prolonged duration of bleeding it is more number of days she is getting bleeding then she should contact you she uh, you should be in close contact with her and uh, so that if need required you can approach your gynecologist because the brain system is not uh, developed totally there is an ovulation in the earlier days of cycle the ovulation is not yet complete because of deficiency of progesterone uh, so these uh, girls may get sometimes irregular menses during the start of the cycles sometimes they get today menses and then after 2 months or then after 6 months a gap they can get the periods or sometimes they may continuously bleed so it may require some medications on from the your gynecologist you should also teach her menstrual hygiene that her pad should remain dry she should continuously change her pads quickly she should not let wet pads uh, to her because wet pads will lead to infections as soon as the pad is soaked she should immediately change it and uh, she should wash her perineal area two to three times a day and uh, ideally the washing should be from the front to the back and not from the back to the front because uh, at the back there is anus and it is uh, full of bacteria so there may be introduction of this thing uh, 
infection also and she will be made aware of this hygienic uh, hygienic practices she should wash her undergarments immediately uh, and in a running water under the so under the tap and uh, and then they should be dried under sunlight because sunlight has germicidal properties and the bad odor also uh, she should become used to it so have a sympathetic approach to her have a hearing attitude love and emotional bonding that is very much required and uh, unless she becomes uh, she thinks something bad about her or sometimes it happens that some of the girls get earlier periods so they might uh, come into some sort of inferiority complex and some girls they get delayed period so but uh, you sh it's your duty that no i um, it's uh, just normal some your height is more your weight is more so you have got earlier periods and uh, some girls they are they grow spurt occurs later after 12 years or something uh period getting periods up to 14 years of age is absolutely normal it's, it's not that if she's get periods her at 13 years of age it's late and uh, you have to tell that her if she gets late also then it's also okay it's perfectly normal there is no need to worry you can wait for your periods till 14 years of age until she has a breast development and which is called thilarchy followed by the development of this pubic hair and then the development of armpit hair axillary hair and uh, the growth spurt and the height also continues for few one or two years after her period resumes because this is after that their epiphyseal closure the bones this epiphyseal ends they start closing so if you like this video please share it with your friends and also put a like on this so that i remain motivated for making more such videos if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section and please subscribe to this channel for more such informative videos and authentic information because in youtube you will find so many information and that may not be authentic and um, please uh, put a uh, subscription and bell icon also so that all my new notifications you will get bye bye take care thank you for listening